my name is Melida Lamini. Uh, I'm 46 years old. Um, I've got a sibling, a brother. His name is Jabu. Very supportive brother. Um, I don't have a father. I have I have a mother. Yeah, they're all they are my two people who support me all the way. I was just lying in bed watching TV. Then um then I was I was touching my breast, just playing with my breast. Then uh I just felt the lump, something like a lump in this breast. So then I I came back to this breast and felt that there's nothing like this one, this side. Then that's when I started to ask myself, I wonder what is it? And it was towards um, my birthday, before the 28th, because of my birthday is on the 28th of July. It was before then. Then I, I wanted to go to the doctor or to the hospital, but I told myself, no, 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 I can't go now. I want to enjoy my birthday first. If they say, you, uh, we are admitting you, then I can't enjoy my birthday. Then after that, then because of, I was worried about it, then I went to the clinic here next door. Then the, the sisters, they felt the lump, and they said to, they made a letter for me to go to, to the hospital. I went to Union, then to Union, they put me to, for, for this, what you call, mammogram and whatever, all those things. Then, um, then they said to me they will send the, the results to my doctor. Yes. Then after that, I think it was two or three days, my doctor called me in. Then I went there um, to my doctor then. But she was afraid to tell me, my doctor. She was very afraid to tell me. Then I, I said to her, what is wrong? No, Melita, you know what? Um, you know these things of women. I said, you know what? If it's cancer, it's okay. Don't worry. It's cancer. What, what more can I do? You see? Then she said to me, Melita, you are so brave. I said, you know what? Let me tell you something. If it's cancer, there's nothing I can do. You see? I won't go and kill myself and say, oh, I've got cancer. No, I'm not the first and I'm not the last. My life won't stop because of cancer. I went back on Monday to my doctor. Then um, uh, he transferred me to the other doctor, which was doctor. Then from doctor, then doctor uh, uh, sent me to oncology, which is doctor. Then doctor said I must start with the key. Uh, after she thoroughly checked me, then. They said I must start with the chemo. Yes, then I started with the chemo. Then, yeah, she said it's for six months. The chemo for me, to tell you the truth, when I start with the chemo, I was going with my brother, my younger brother. But when time goes on, I said to my younger brother, you know what, no, you don't have to take me there. I'll go myself. Because of I go to chemo, then tomorrow I go to work. It means that it doesn't do anything to me. Then that's when I drive myself, coming back, tomorrow coming back to work. You see, for that six months, the chemo, I don't want to lie to you, I was very strong. Doing whatever that I was doing when, like before. Then the doctor um, sent me back to Dr. Then when Dr. checked, uh, the lamp was gone now. I think it, it was because of the chemo. Then Dr. said to me, he won't operate because of the lamp is gone, because he was supposed to remove the lamp. But now because of it's gone, he said to me he won't operate. Then I went back to 
doctor and tell her that you know what doctor said one two three he won't be able to operate because of no doctor said no wherever the lamp was the cells can be removed she he can remove the cells uh, where the, the, the lamp was he must operate then they communicated then they put me in, then I went to the hospital for operation. Yeah, I went there, then the operation was okay. I was, it was not bad for me. Okay, the pain was there, but me being strong, you see. Okay, after the operation, um, doctor called me in again. He said, she said to me, I must, uh, I'm, I'm going to go for re radiation now. Yes, for six weeks every day. Then I went like, Duh, six weeks every day. I said, okay, what more can I do? Yeah, the, the, the radiation, yeah, that one, oh, that one makes, make me sick. Yeah, I was, I was, I was sick because of, it's something like it's burning yeah you won't see when it's burning because of its machines around you are just lying there then the machine is coming to you like whatever whatever but but when time goes on you can see the different because of i was changing the color the side yeah because of they said to me it's it's burning the cells whatever remains cells of cancer it's been it, it burning those cells so you can see that you are changing when time goes on. Then, ah, but, oh, yeah, there was this time then I was like, oh, under the breast, oh, I looked as if they did pour oh, boiled water on me. I went through it, but the doctor, I think it was, I was left with three days because of I was getting worse and worse. Then Dr. Rodriguez said to me, no, let's stop the, the the radiation for now so that you can be healed because of now i can see it's going worse and worse and worse because of the machine then i said i stayed home then um after a while then i went then i was only left with three days to finish the radiation then that was it then i'm done with the radiation i'm done with everything I'm only drinking one tablet and I'm gonna drink that tablet for five years That's it. I have to go to, for regular checkups like I'm gonna go now on on the 8th of September I'm gonna go to the doctor to check to tell you the truth my mother was shocked because of she didn't know any even at my father's side, I didn't know somebody who has cancer. Maybe they had cancer, they were, it was gone at those days. They didn't, like, because of technology now, like before, you understand? Yeah, so now the doctors, they get everything in anything because of technology. Maybe there was somebody, but they didn't realize that she or he got cancer. I've got a medical aid because of uh, cancer, they call it chronic. Okay, they did cover me. But sometimes when you, when like, when you go to the doctor, then you must pop up some money for the whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't have that 450. The doctor wants it now because of, he must see you, he must check you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes it will cost you, you see, because both of them, I think I paid them twice. Because of, after this one, I'm with this one, then if uh, this time can pass, like let's say two weeks, or for example, two, three weeks, not seeing that one. If that one is sending me back to that one, then I must pop up 450 again to, to see her. my experience with, with platinum life um you guys are very good because of you sent gift you sent gifts 
ne? You send us gifts. It's so nice to receive gifts. You understand what I'm saying? Then, um, when when you have cancer, yo, you are wow, wow. Yeah, I was I was touched by you guys. Really, the the pajamas from. Oh, I was touched. The, the the morning shoes. I was touched. The the voucher from. I was I was touched. You understand what I'm saying? I was oh, you are wow. Very quick and nice, and I was very happy. To tell you the truth, yeah, my dad, I shared with my mother. The other one, I gave my brother. Um, as I was, as I said before, that um, cancer came to me. I didn't think that um, one day I will have cancer. Even if uh, um, the platinum. Uh, uh, people said to me, you must take cancer uh, policy. I was asking about cancer, me. But it comes to everybody, especially these days. The food that we are, we are eating these days. You understand? We are not eating healthy. Not at all. And if they say you've got cancer, oh, guys, please. Life must go on. Just take cancer, this side, take your life. Your life must go on then deal with the cancer, but make sure that your life goes on. Don't stop your life because of cancer. I didn't stop my life, really, I didn't. I didn't stop my life, no ways. I said to myself, no ways, not with me. This is my life, I'm gonna live my life, then I will take care of cancer. It's not a death sentence, it's not a train smash.